Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. My name is Mai, this is Herky, this is Milton. They have their little name bandanas on so that you know exactly which one they are, but you know, who are we kidding? Of course you know who they are by now. Um, so today I wanted to do a quick little video about my top 10 tips on how to prepare for a road trip with your dog. So if you've been following us for a while, then you know that we do quite a bit of road trip with the girls. They've been to Toronto, New York quite a bit of times, and that's about a six hour drive that we do with them, and they do so well now, and we really have our top tips nailed down, and we know exactly how to prepare on how to travel with them. So I thought I'd share these tips with you. Yeah, that, 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 that just sneezed anyways. Uh, we have 10 tips to share with you. I'm gonna go from tip number 10 all the way to tip number one. So stay until the end to know our top tip in order to prepare for a road trip. So tip number 10 is to have any certification, vaccination certificates handy. There's nothing more annoying than passing the border and having that certificate in the bottom of the luggage, in the bottom of the dog's bag or whatever. I always have to have their certificates handy with our passport so we usually keep those in the glove box and they're ready to go and to be shown every time we pass the border. Tip number nine is to have their name tags and the rabies tag right on the collar when they pass the border or anywhere that you go. You never know if ever you have a pit stop or something. There's always um, people that could stop you, ask for certifications or anything. Knock on wood, but dogs run away. So it's always good if you do pit stops that you have the rabies tag and the name tag on them to be sure that if something happens, you can be reached. Tip number eight is to bring food and treats. And this may sound obvious, but you know, sometimes if the road trip is just six hours or so, you don't think that you'll need food or treats, but I find it's important to keep them entertained. It's just for them to have something to do also. Even if your dog eats just morning and night, it's good to have some treats to positively reinforce being in the car and the fact that this is fun and everything. The girls, um, as you know, they eat three times a day. So usually when we do a road trip, it, it always happens that they have to eat a meal. So that's why we have one serving of food and some treats handy. Tip number seven is to bring water. Now this is super important because of course they're in the car, they also need to hydrate. It can get quite hot in the car, especially in the summer when you go on road trips. So we always like to have a portal water bowl or water bottle with us. And whenever we stop for pit stops, we always make sure that they hydrate. Tip number six goes hand in hand with tip number seven, which is to take potty breaks. This is good because they might want to move around too and it's good for their circulation, just like for us. I don't like to be sitting for a straight six hours and probably they don't like to either. It just changes the air for them a bit. So just take a pit stop, go potty. It's a potty break for yourself, but also for them. I know that when we have uh, road trips, we usually stop twice and this may seem excessive, but I have uh, pr no bladder control, so, <laughs> so they benefit from it too. We usually stop twice just for them to eat, for them to walk around a bit and they love it. And usually after that potty break, they just go back in the car and they fall right back asleep. Tip number five is especially great if your dog is new to road trips and this is to bring a blanket that smells like home. This is gonna make the car ride much more comfortable. It's gonna make them at ease, more relaxed and less anxious. Tip number four goes hand in hand with that and it's to have a dog tarp in the car. You have no idea how many road trips we had where it was raining or it was snowing and then when you take potty break and you bring back the dogs in the car, they are so dirty and you'll be very thankful that you have a dog tarp that protects the car when they jump back into the car. It's also really good if your dog has a tendency like Hurricane Milton to scratch when they get anxious or whatever. So it's better that your car is protected against nails, against hair, against dirty paws, against saliva, against everything. Tip number three is to bring a seat belt. Now this is super essential, especially on long road trips because they can move around and it can get dangerous. So we always travel with a harness and a seat belt. So it's long enough for them to lie down, but it's also very important that they are protected because even though they just appear to be sleeping, accidents can happen and you wanna prevent anything from happening to them. So better safe than sorry, just clip them to a seat belt to make sure that they are safe. Tip number two is to bring towels and baby wipes. You never know when you do a pit stop or something can happen in the car, you'll be thankful to have a blanket and baby wipes. They can get sick in the car, they can salivate, they can have dirty paws. 
towels and baby wipes will save your life. And for my final tip, this is the best tip according to me in order to prepare your dog for a long road trip and for a long car ride is to exercise them or walk them before the car ride. And this is very important because you want them to be tired right when they get to the car. And that way, if you take a long walk in the morning before your road trip, then you'll know that they'll already want to sleep. And then when you get into the car, they'll just go right to sleep. Sometimes it's not possible, I know. So make sure that maybe the day before you have a long day of exercise with them so that the next they are kind of more chill and they want to relax a bit more so there you go those were my top 10 tips on how to prepare for a dog or road trip i hope these are helpful for you if you haven't checked out our travel series i'll be linking it here we did a road trip very recently with a girl so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye